to talk about custom interfaces in Airtable. Let's see if we are live on Facebook. It looks like it's in there now. And let's check out YouTube. This is a test because we're going live again next week. We'll see if it is working. OK. Well, then we will jump in. Today, we're going to be going through some of the new AI features in Airtable interfaces. So this was announced this week. I'm going to be sh sharing my screen. So these were the new AI generated interface elements. You may already be familiar potentially with the alpha that exists around custom interfaces. And that's kind of like a play off of what they used to have with just creating custom blocks. But custom and blocks used to be in like the app level, in the base level. In the base, you could have extensions. Extensions used to be called blocks. A while ago, they had this like competition for those. And some people in the community won prizes for that. They then named that blocks to extensions, extensions into, or blocks into apps, apps into extensions. And then Airtable started focusing on the interface layer, but they never brought extensions to the interface. So now they have, they call these interface elements. And right now there's custom interface elements that you can create. And it's kind of through the same way, but then just today, they released, well, just yesterday, maybe the day before, uh, they released the ability to use AI to generate interface elements. So you can see here, we have examples of a map, of a field goal shooting, like where people shot on a field goal map. This is like what it looks like to build using this new it, Omni is what it's called. Uh, Omni is like the Airtable AI agent that powers all things. And then down here we have a heat map example. So this is showing across months what day of the week should be shown on the heat map. So then we have a little blurb from the Airtable product team. The way that you do this is you open up Omni. So maybe I'll just play this. We'll see if we have audio or not. Okay, so that's a little bit of a preview. If you don't have AI Labs enabled yet, then what you need to do is go into the admin panel in Airtable and enable AI Labs. I will briefly show that you you to get to the admin panel, and I don't know what this looks like on a pro account. Um, on business or enterprise, you'd have access to the admin panel where there's a space for AI settings. So I'm going to share my screen on that. So in the admin panel, you can go to settings and then AI settings. And then here you can see get access to new AI features as they come out. So we have this toggled on. So we're going to be able to access this new Airtable interface component feature. There's also a little bit more documentation. So there's this article that Airtable linked to in their post. So in this post, they have this article right here, our FAQ documentation. And it walks through a little bit of like, what can I do with AI generated elements? So you can either create a full page like this. This would be in the same place that in the 
latest and greatest interfaces you'd be creating list views grid views kanban views timeline views calendar views this is a new custom page type so you'll see up here it says custom oh yeah it says right here analogous to those type of views and you can basically switch from a grid view to a custom view you can also create charts that live in the same place as the dashboard so this is the other place that you could do it um, and this is slightly i think more limited in this first release than what you could do with the fully blown custom interface extensions alpha that is out there uh, that's i think kind of at like a i know of maybe 150 people that are in that that i've seen in this that, are, that have gotten access to that alpha uh, but this is much more easy i think for most people to use to get into the alpha you do need to be a little bit more knowledgeable around coding and scripting um, okay so this is an example of how to use it so you go to your base and you open up omni so you may not have this omni tab open over here on the left hand side this logo right here this is the logo on how to get omni open so you click on that that's going to open up omni over on the left hand side one note is if you're in the interface editor in order to do this you have to get into the editor mode so you may just click on the base name up in the top left and then click edit pages and then you'll be able to use omni with this so once you open up omni you'll start clicking in the chat and then you'll select tools right here and it's only going to have this one tool right now ai generated element and then you put in your prompt so this one says i want to create a 3d model viewer the ui should look like an inbox one note because i've tested this a few times you should be as specific as possible with everything that you want in, in it um, you can edit it after the fact but i've found like if you want to be able to zoom in or out on something or you want to have things centered or you want it to look a specific way throw all the detail you can in the prompt um anything that you think is like a fair assumption don't think it's a fair assumption like write out all of the assumptions in here so that's an example this is the 3d model viewer so then it's saying staying in that same chat so now once you send your initial chat you have the option of up here in the top left you're going to be able to like go out to different chats that you've had previously so it kind of saves your chats with it uh, you can go back to this chat or just keep going in the same chat and add new prompts to it so i want to add a markup feature to the to the model viewer so add a button to the top right of the ui and it should add a button to the top right of the ui So there's a few best practices. There's a few gaps and limitations. You can read through this doc. I can go, go find this uh, post here. Add comments. Ask Airtable for feedback, or ask Airtable for bugs or anything like that. One great thing that I noticed as I was going through this is I did have a little bit of feedback for Airtable, and I think if you just click on like when you're, if you find a bug or like you can't get omni to do something Airtable is pretty responsive this is like one of the latest and greatest features that they're doing so they're doing a lot of pressure testing now that this is a live thing over here you want to like click the plus or click the thumbs down and it's going to do a pop-up form to be able to give Airtable feedback so go give Airtable feedback there's a form specifically for the interface components here and you'll give feedback directly to the product team. I recorded like a one minute Loom video, submitted it, and within like 30 seconds, I saw Airtable, somebody from Airtable had viewed it, which is pretty cool. So they're super responsive. And let's see. Okay. So that's like the 101 on Airtable AI generated interface elements. You can go test this out. Uh, again, just follow these steps. I've already created a few for our internal apps, uh, but this does a very good job walking through how it looks. Some ideas that we've seen. Uh, the heat maps is definitely one. 
showing things on a actual map, like using the Google Maps integration is another really, really popular one. Basically anything that you could think of with whatever you had access to in the extensions. Those are all great ideas. So some of the more popular ones for that would be like an org chart extension or I haven't seen anybody try to recreate the dedupe extension, but that would be one that I would love to enable in the interfaces. Um, other ones, actually, let's just go open it up. So I'm just going to open up one of our demo bases. So this one was a request and approval workflow. I built this base for YouTube to show complex approval workflows. Oh, we actually also did a live stream on this one, which was fun. So if you come here to extensions and you come here and click add extension, you could maybe get ideas. Oh, more complex charts are another really great option to try out first. But really any of these extensions by Airtable, I think would be probably a pretty good start. So they have a map one, they have embed. I was able to create one that embeds, how do I say this? You can preview YouTube videos. So you can watch YouTube videos in Airtable rather than jumping out. Uh, I tried with Loom videos and I tried with some others. I couldn't get those to work. It does need to be something that you can embed is what I found. Um, I tried just giving the errors that I was getting back to the chat and it helped fix it, but I was able to watch YouTube videos in their table, which is cool. We have a base of all of our YouTube videos. Here's that 3D models and 3D images. Uh, let's see, what else do they have in here? Translate, that could be another good one. Color palette, keep track of a palette of colors. You could try that one. A flashcard interface, that could be another one for studying. So these are all great options. And then there's even more options that have already been created that these all live at the base level, but you could use these potentially as like some inspiration for what you want to create in the interfaces. And just again, to show you where you do that, if you're in the interface, you have to have base access to be able to edit the interface, but you come up here in the top left and you click here, you click edit pages, and then you click open Omni. Once you're over here, you do need to have AI labs enabled, but you should have the option then to click AI generated element. This is where you type in your prompt and then you can use that to uh, create this over here to create a new page or within, let's say a dashboard and go do something specific in this dashboard and create this specific type of element. So hopefully that was valuable. I'm just going to go check the chat, see if there's any questions. If not, I will let y'all go. Okay, I think we are good. So thanks for coming to the live. This was again a test because we're gonna go live next week. Um, so appreciate you guys watching and hopefully you guys have AI enabled in your workspaces in Airtable. Hopefully you have AI labs enabled. Hopefully you can use this to create some, at least test creating some new custom interfaces and send something in the Facebook group if you create something cool. Would love to see it. Thank you all.